Gary Clute in car number 59 is going to be right up alongside as they go back to green here at the end of lap number 18. Dumoulin and Clute down into turn number one. That's how they run. And then a real shuffle for positions a little bit further back, including DJ Kennington in that Castrol Edge Dodge. He was fifth as they took the green flag. Three, Gary Clute going to set the pace on the inside of row number one. Kevin Lacroix immediately to his left. Green flag is out. We're back underway in the Asa Abloy Exentra 200. Another good launch for Clute in that 59. Kevin Lacroix trying to close the door on Mark Antoine Cameron as they exit turn one. And those two GM Pied Chevrolets go side by side for second. Ranger and that uh, number 96 car of Mark Antoine Cameron. But it is Gary Clute back out in front at the point as they go through turn number three. Andrew Ranger has moved the round Mark Antoine Cameron in a third and then it is Cameron and then I believe that fifth place spot still the 47 of LP Dumoulin they work through turn four on the brakes hard up in a Moss corner and right now Ranger is all over that 74 car of Kevin Lacroix but it's single file out of the hairpin and Tagliani did pick up a spot up into seven and we've got some Brattles going on a little bit further back. Here's Lacroix on the inside of Gary Clute. They're going to go side by side down the start finish straightaway. Across the line, Clute will get credit with leading that lap, but going through on the inside is Kevin Lacroix. Problems again for Matthew Scale in the 99. I don't know how they can keep the green flag out. I believe we're going to see a full course caution. So it is Scannell stopped out there on the racetrack as the we go to a full course yellow. So this is interesting. We've got lots of drivers entering a closed pit. It was open for DJ Kennington. It's debatable for Dexter Stacy. And Gary Clute in car number 59 is going to be right up alongside as they go back to green here at the end of lap number 18. Dumoulin and Clute down into turn number one that's how they run and then a real shuffle for positions a little bit further back including dj kennington in that castrol edge dodge he was fifth as they took the green flag kennington had to lift there was contact between himself or nearly contact between himself and herbie drescher he had to lift that allowed alex LeBay to get up alongside the 17. Out in front, L.P. Dumlin leads the way. Gary Clute runs in the second spot. They've already built an advantage. Over the rest of the field, they are starting to pull away. But watch for the hot shoes deep in the pack. Kevin Lacroix trying to carve through traffic. And right now, he is penned in behind other cars. D.J. Kennington getting forced wide there in 5B. He is going to tuck in right behind that uh, 36 car of Labe as Drescher did get shuffled back a couple of positions and then we're looking at those cars that were up front before the pit stops. Kevin Lacroix was 11th, 27 Andrew Ranger 12th and I think Mark Antoine Cameron may have got the jump. Cameron right behind DJ Kennington as they come through the S's. Oh! One way off the track, Herbie Drescher mowing the grass between eight and nine. He's going to head down pit road. Oh, my goodness. Now Dumoulin will come on to pit road, and so will the 59 of Gary Clute. So once again, this is going to shuffle the running order as we continue on the, the full course yellow. Featuring Harley Davidson and... Indian motorcycles as we're about to go back to green. Sam Fellows, 87, and Peter Clute in car number six will bring the field out of turn number 10, looking for the green flag, and it flies in the flagger stand in a turn number one as uh, one of the drivers getting pinched off there as they go three wide in a turn number one. Gary Clute in car number six, followed by Sam Fellows, but he's got the 92 of Dexter Stacy right up alongside of him. So less than 20 laps to go. Peter Clute, car number six, your leader. He has gone through. That last lap was a minute 25 and change for Clute. 
that chasing pair of 96 Cameron and 74 Lacroix were into the minute 24. So they are reeling him in in a big, big hurry up the Andretti straightaway, the 96 uh, GM Pie car, and then the 74 of uh, Kevin Lacroix. Problem with the 66 off into the tire wall. And that will be in turn number four. 96 of Mark Antoine Cameron has taken the lead. Kevin Lacroix will also dive inside of Peter Clute to move to second. So the race is on. Cameron in the Chevrolet. Lacroix in the Dodge. Now running one, two as they clear Moss Corner on lap number 34. As uh, 74 Lacroix inside of Cameron in a turn number 10. And we have got a new leader coming to the line to complete lap number 35. It is that 74 Napa Dodge of uh, Kevin Lacroix going out in front. But this is a monumental battle between LP Dumoulin 47 and Gary Clute in the 59 for that third place spot as they work off a turn number 10. And on the start finish straightaway, that is third and fourth. Then the six of Peter Clute rounding out your top five. Thomas LeView in the 20. Oh, trouble. That's our race leader, Kevin Lacroix, way off the track. Lacroix off of the uh, racetrack. He has slowed. I'm not sure if something broke on the race car. But all of a sudden, Marc Antoine Cameron finds himself in the lead. And now this battle between LP Dumoulin and Gary Clute will be the race for second. I don't see oil. That's the exit of turn number one and not a good spot for Kevin Lacroix. Well, obviously not a good spot when you've led the race and now you're stopped on the racetrack. So I believe this will likely draw a full course caution. We'll wait and let the officials do that officiating. There are spots on the track where you can come to a stop and probably not warrant a yellow. Now I almost wonder if there's fluid on the racetrack somewhere because we got a couple of cars taken sliding off the corner. Now they've gone to a full course yellow. We're about to set to go back to green. Tight no seat belts, ladies and gentlemen. Six laps to the checkered flag. And hopefully that's the last of the caution flags we're going to see here today. You know these drivers are going to be up on the wheel for this. Bringing them back to green. It'll be Mark Antoine Cameron on the inside, setting the pace in the GM Pie 96. The WeatherTech 47 of LP Dumlin going to restart second. Then it's a father and son, Gary Clute and Peter Clute in row number two. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Down into turn number one, it is Mark Antoine Cameron who grabs the lead off of turn number one. Looks like that might have been DJ Kennington getting shuffled back. But boy, he was sliding that car. Do not count out Gary Clute. Peter Clute goes around. Peter was off the pace on that restart. He has gone around in turn number two. Thank goodness they paved the runoff at turn two. That, that would have been a horrible crash. Clute is back under power, making his way back towards the racing surface, but there was some sort of a problem. Here goes Gary Clute to the inside of the 47 LP Dumoulin, down into the Moss hairpin. And he just about contacted that 47 of LP Dumoulin. Meanwhile, Marc Antoine Cameron has opened up about 12 car lights on the rest of the field, and we've got a spinner. That is the 88 car of Simone Charbonneau. And is that up in Moss as well? But uh, yeah, it looks the entry, I believe. Yeah, he's got it turned around, so we stay green. That is a great little fight as we've got Alex Labe in car number 36 right behind them. So that is a three-way fight, four-way fight as they work back to the line. Lap number 48 going up on the board. We've got three laps remaining. And it is Cameron, Dumoulin, and then Gary Clute. One, two, three, checking the lap times. They're down into the minute 23. So all of these drivers in that front trio on the ragged edge. And it looks like they're going to be coming up to a slower car. Full course yellow. We've got a car stopped on the racetrack. I got my wrist slapped a couple of years ago. 
I think it was two years. Might have been last year. But there was a car stopped on the back straightaway, and they didn't go yellow. But I am concerned that the 24 of Thomas Neveu has his driver's side door exposed to the traffic. And I'm not sure if that's why they've gone yellow. If it is why they've gone yellow, I fully support that, Pat. You don't want to have a driver's door be the first thing that would get contacted if there is an issue. As the field is now working lap number 51. So next time by, as we're about to go back to green, it'll be 51 laps in the books. And uh, we are going to run this one a total of 53 laps. So we're going overtime at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. On your feet, tighten those seat belts. Here they come. Up through turns number nine and ten, Mark Antoine Cameron going to slide his car over, keep LB Dumlin right where he wants him. Sam Fellows right up under the rear bumper of that 47. They roll up through the gears, back into green. We're going NASCAR overtime. And at turn number one, it is the 96 of Mark Antoine Cameron. Those drivers just sliding those cars out of turn number one. They head uphill into two. And it is the uh, 96 of Cameron side by side there for second. No, Clute cleared him already. Clute was able to get around Cameron and move up into second. Sam Fellows right there in fourth as they exit turn number three, work the short shoot, about to come under that Chevrolet bridge, and then it'll be down the shoot and up into Moss for the first time here since we went back to green. Great restart for Gary Clooney. Cleared LP Dublin of the exit of turn number one. Cameron leads the way as they work down the back straightaway, but Gary Clute is in his slipstream. Down the long back stretch, they're going to come down under the Canadian Tire Bridge. The white flag will be displayed this time. The next flag ends the race. Clue trying to close that gap as they work into turn number eight. The gap between first and second, about five car lengths. Mark Antoine Cameron was about a tenth of a second quicker than Gary Clute through this race as they work off a of turn number 10. White last lap flag is in the air as they complete lap number 52. This one's going to go 53 laps. Mark Antoine Cameron, your leader, right there is Gary Clute, LP Dumoulin, Sam Fellows in fourth. Rounding out your top five, 36, Alex Labbe. Down through turn number two, Cameron got a little bit wide. Gary Clute with a better line. He'll close the gap into three. Still two car lengths between first and second as they walk through turn number three and head towards turn four. Clute has really been charging into the Moss hairpin. Can he make a move on the leader, Cameron? Not quite close enough. Cameron is on the ragged edge. Gary Clute to within just about a couple of car lengths out of 5B. Now, which one of these drivers may have just a little bit more in the climb up the Andretti straightaway for the final time? 47, LP Dumoulin in third. Sam Fellows hanging out of fourth. Alex Lambe is fifth. Bring him on home, Adam. Gary Clute closing the gap on Mark Antoine Cameron. Cameron drives it deep into turn eight, extends the three car lengths advantage. They work towards nine, Cameron ahead. Gary Clute with one final attempt. He can't get close enough. Race number one, the Asa Abloy, Eccentric 200 to Mark Antoine Cameron. Clute gonna come home second, Dumoulin third, what a finish. Sam Fellows comes home fourth. Alex LeBay rounding out the top five. 